So there we go, Rich. Um, season over and uh, 100 points achieved. Fantastic effort. Yeah, I didn't think we'd get that many in pre-season. I've got to be honest. Um, I thought we'd, I thought we'd go well. I was confident that we'd uh, that we'd go close to sort of winning it or, or be there or thereabouts. But 100 points is um, well, it's a record for the Hellenic League over a 38-game season. You know, so that's uh, another little stat we can click off. I think we've. By another clean sheet today makes us the best defensive record anywhere in any level of football in this country. Um, so yeah, it's been an unbelievable season, and we've got a remarkable, a remarkable set of players. Um, yeah, you know, you run out of superlatives. I think, and you talk about people all, all the time, but these boys deserve every little bit of the, the limelight. Um, we've not had any sort of huge wins, you would say, like in big cup games, or you know, we obviously lost the two head to heads with the, the second place team and drew with, with caution both games. So we haven't really had that. That, that sort of moment, but we've um, we've certainly had that this weekend. With with obviously getting promoted on Thursday night, and you know we're halfway through the celebrations, and the game of football kind of got in the way of that a little bit um, today. With but you know it's, it's a nice opportunity to get people to come down. And, you know the boys are over there having their photos with the trophy, and it's been a um, yeah brilliant 48 hours. Yeah, so I mean that you, you've talked about the game now. So um, plans next season? Yeah, well I suppose. I suppose for us, it's um, the first target is we've got to we want to we want to stay in the division. We work blooming hard to get out of it, um, so we need to we need to be putting a squad together that's capable of, of doing that. Um, obviously, we're all new to the division, myself included, um, so there's a little bit of an unknown. But that, that, that's excitement that sort of comes with that, I guess. Um, we're, we're certainly going to need to add some some bodies to the squad, but probably my biggest job over the next few weeks is. Um, is making sure that the vast majority of this squad want to stay with us for next season. I don't see any reason why anyone would want to move on at the moment, but you know, you never take anything for granted. And I've certainly not been having those conversations over the last couple of weeks. So, if we sit down and have individual chats with, with each and every one of our squad from this year, see where the land lies for them, and you know, talk through our sort of plans over the over the coming months. And it's exciting, isn't it? You know, I think we, we get to go to, to lots of new grounds, I get to go back closer. To home on a few occasions back down at Sunny Southampton, and depending on sort of how the playoffs and the promotion picture looks there. Yeah. Um, so that'd be good. But yeah, it's I suppose really it's it's making sure we're ready on and off the pitch is is sort of the, the big thing. And we've got a few things off the field that that now need to follow the success on. Mm -hmm. um, and we've got to make sure that we're uh, you know we're set on the pitch come come the first of August. But we've got we've got a good tour to Marbella in the middle of all of that and. Yeah, enjoy some down period. I think it's been a stressful period for all of us, Vila, yourself included. Um, every every week you're checking results and score lines and, and what, what could happen if, if they win here and we win there. And I think it's nice just to, to enjoy the moment. I mean, that's, that's probably the biggest thing. So we're going to do that with a big night out tonight, following on from the previous two. And, and then, yeah, on to Sunday, we'll get all the families together. And, but I just, I, I, I'll finish off with closing just by saying a huge congratulations to Melvin Town today on on reaching you know, either a playoff or an automatic promotion spot mm. if one becomes available with their points per game record. Um, and commiserations to caution, really, because you know I, I think all three of us, as I've said before, deserved deserved a promotion this year, but no doubt they'll be back stronger than ever next year under Kieran Baggs, and congratulations to them on a on a brilliant season as well. And um, yeah, and, and lastly, congratulations to all of my players and, and the fo our football club on, on what's been a, a tremendous a tremendous 12 months and as I said probably a little bit more emotionally on, yeah. on Thursday um, hopefully that the, the best is, is yet to come still so yeah brilliant. yeah still got a lot to look forward to this season with the reserves as well not sure what the result was today not seen anything think, well, I think they were winning 1-0 so yeah, yeah. I, you know hopefully again and you talk about the stuff off the field our, our reserve team could be a step six side next year in the in the tool station league if they keep winning their games they're 12 points clear at the top of the county league so not just us, you know, as the football club is doing ever so well, and hats off to both Millsy and Robbie H on that. And yeah, we're in a really good place as a football club, so it's um, yeah, it's good to see. Excellent. Let's go and have some beers. Look forward to it. How are you? Yeah. Cheers, Cheers boss. Mate. Thank you.